Okay. We are rolling. Champions of Champions Boxing Talk. For another crazy episode in the world of the sweet science. Um, Manny Pacquiao v. Jeff Horn. I want to talk about other issues to do with Manny Pacquiao later on in this video. But for now, I'm not going to talk about how he looked age-wise or comparing him with his prime because you have to watch 36 minutes for what two guys are on that occasion on that night. So, Jeff Horn, I predicted, would do a lot better than people give him credit for. And he did even better than I expected. Does that translate to a victory, though? No. I don't think so. When you see all these show reels of Manny Pacquiao knocking out Ricky Hatton, destroying Oscar De La Hoya, making Miguel Cotto look real weak with punishment, that then gives you a false perception, shall we say. And I think the judges fell for that big time in this fight in Australia. And some people have it even a more bleaker view on judging in boxing than I do right now. But nonetheless, we've been seeing Manny Pacquiao knock people down for years, look ferocious. So if there's anything else but that, it can sway your judging. But judges should do this. Forget who the two individuals are in the ring. It's a man be a man and judge it that way. And what I saw was Jeff Horn throwing a lot of punches, being very aggressive. His movement was very good. But I did see a lot of shots land on Manny's gloves and elbows. And for some unknown reason, the judges at ringside were giving those shots to Horn. Now, from from where I was sat anyway, Jeff Horn was the more active fighter, right? Manny Pacquiao was the more calculated fighter. And it appeared to me that Manny Pacquiao, throughout most of the rounds, was landing more accurately. Now, I don't know about you, but I always thought that boxing, you scored rounds and fights, not off the guy who tried the hardest, but the guy who was the most successful. Because, let's face it, if we judged it off the guys that tried the hardest, how many defeats would Floyd Mayweather have? I mean, Manny Pacquiao, I don't think it was as bad as the Timothy Bradley result. That, that was a real travesty years ago. But I thought Manny did enough to win. More than enough. By two, maybe three rounds. But one judge had this thing. 117 to 111. In other words, Jeff Horn won nine rounds out of 12. That's a better victory for Jeff Horn than Floyd Mayweather got over Manny Pacquiao. Never, never in a month of Sundays did Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao more convincingly than Floyd Mayweather did. I'm sorry, right? Now, Paulie Malinaji, he makes a good point, but he has to be consistent with it. He says, well, you can't judge a fight off CompuBox. Don't look at CompuBox. Judge the fight yourself. Well, Teddy Atlas, Lennox Lewis, Kobe Bryant and a few other people that watched the fight live, me, myself, we didn't have CompuBox. And it still looked to me like Manny Pacquiao was the more accurate, crisp fighter. Right? And in the ninth round, let's be honest, you could have scored that fight 10-8. You don't have to drop a guy in boxing for a round to be scored 10-8. If there's enough dominance, if the guy is not responding, getting hit, looking tired, looking flustered on his feet, and, you know, just gassed shall we say you have every entitlement as a judge to give it 10-8 I gave the ninth round 10-8 in this match I did and as I said 
That then made Manny a winner by around two or three rounds in my book. And I don't use CompuBox to score because you don't have CompuBox live. But do you know something? CompuBox corresponds with me and I'll tell you for why. Look at this. How can you give a fight to a guy that does this? Okay, Jeff Horn. My point was proven. He was more active. He was putting more effort in. 625 punches thrown, right? And he lands 92. That's kind of low percentage. On the flip side, you've got Manny Pacquiao. 573 punches thrown. 182 landed. Do you know something? Manny Pacquiao connected with 90 more shots than Jeff Horn. How do you score a fight nine rounds to three when the other guy somehow lands 90 more punches than you do? Right? And CompuBox there is just confirming what I what me and Teddy Atlas was watching live. And Teddy Atlas is not really a known Manny Pacquiao fan. When all said and done. Stephen A. Smith is not a known Manny Pacquiao fan. And even they sort of saw this fight as a big time, shall we say, home decision. And that's exactly what it was, in my opinion. So, I did talk in my video about... And this is a seismic shock in boxing. Make no mistake about it. Jeff Horn is a better fighter, an underrated fighter, and can, can beat a lot of guys in boxing. The way he moves, his activity, his engine, and his will to bite on the gum shield and somehow manage to survive against all the odds like he did in the ninth round when Manny looked like he landed on Jeff Horn and hit him with everything but the kitchen sink. Do you know what that kind of reminded me of? Manny Pacquiao couldn't pull the trigger and finish Jeff Horn. That is a symptom of age which I'm going to go into in a minute. But Jeff Horn's moment there was a little bit like Anthony Joshua's moment. When he was badly, badly stunned against Vladimir Klitschko. But somehow found, found the heart, the, the, the desire and the determination to come back and eventually stop Klitschko. But you know something? That would have been a travesty as well. Because I did say on the night, I had Klitschko leading by three rounds before Anthony Joshua thankfully saved us another travesty and knocked Vladimir Klitschko out. And that's kind of what Jeff Horn did yesterday. He was an inexperienced fighter like Anthony Joshua at elite level and he did pass the test in my opinion. And well, let's go back then to a style that I think Jeff Horn talked about before this fight and that was the Marcus Madonna style now do you know Floyd Mayweather in the first Marcus Madonna match only landed a mere nine shots more than Madonna did right and Floyd Mayweather won that fight I think by three rounds and yet you've got Manny Pacquiao here landing 90 Shots more than the Australian Madonna, Jeff Horn, and he loses. So, let's get one thing straight. Floyd has got his house in order. He knows the score. He knows if he does go, and I credit to Manny Pacquiao, he is real brave going to these countries, and Muhammad Ali and so forth. But Floyd knows that if he goes outside of America, he's going to get jobbed robbed if Marcus Madonna put that performance on in Argentina v Floyd Mayweather do you honestly think Floyd would have come out the winner absolutely no chance if that was a nine to three win for Jeff Horn then Marcus Madonna pitched a shutout v Floyd Mayweather in their first fight right no two ways about it 
there was no difference hardly in the punches landed in that match. Now, I know you go off round for round punch stats. But they're in favour of Manny in this fight. The power punches is in favour of Manny. And it looked that way. If you didn't see it as a faded legend and just watch two guys fighting, yes, it does look that way. Right? So, I think even the jab category. And the overall stat proves this. Jeff Horn landed 50% of total punches. Right? I'm only reading these stats now. Really. Manny Pacquiao landed double 32% of total punches attempted. He threw less, but as Teddy Atlas said, and I agree with him, and Stephen A. Smith said, you can't give decisions in fights of this magnitude to guys based off putting on a good effort and doing a little, well, a lot better than expected. Jeff Horn's world-class. I could say that now. He's world-class, right? But I still did not judge the fight for Jeff Horn. And let's be honest. If this fight was judged anywhere else but in Australia. Do you think Jeff Horn is getting his hands raised? No chance. Absolutely no chance. Not in Vegas. Certainly not in the Philippines. Not in the UK. Apparently Manny Pacquiao has a rematch clause. Here's my advice to Manny. Forget this road warrior stuff. You take that fight in the Philippines if you can. Because anywhere, if you go back to Australia, you have to knock Jeff Horn out. If a judge gives Jeff Horn nine rounds to three over you, what does that tell you? You, you would have to dominate him for every second of every minute of every round. And maybe you get a draw. And then to beat him, you have to separate him from his senses. But... Manny Pacquiao didn't have the killer instinct, didn't have the killer touch in the ninth round. And when Jeff Horn got back to the stool, even though I thought the fight was turning in Manny's way, I did think, oh dear, if Jeff Horn can make it to the end, you never know with these judges. Now, going on to people saying Manny Pacquiao is not the fighter, he once was, and he's not, and it's shown big style last night. That's the worst version of Manny Pacquiao I've ever seen. I'm telling you, the worst version. Years ago, he would not have outpointed Jeff Horn. He'd have sent Jeff Horn into outer space, right? If Jeff Horn's face looked the way it looked against Manny Pacquiao at 38... Imagine Manny Pacquiao in his prime landing those lefts, those rights, more active, more moving, not stationary on the ropes. I mean, when Manny Pacquiao kind of rope doped Jeff Horn. Now, the rope doped strategy can go against you because people see shots that hit elbows and gloves and they score the round for you. Even though you've landed little, say Jeff Horn throws 30 punches, hits gloves. Manny Pacquiao throws 30 punches, lands 10, right? Or more. Some judges just see activity, which that blows my mind because if you only see activity, how would Bernard Hopkins, how would Pernell Whitaker, how would Floyd Mayweather ever have a career? It's not fair. You judge it off the accuracy and the Queensberry rules. It's very simple. This is boxing. And again, I didn't see the stats live. I'm repeating myself here. But judging two men fighting, I saw a guy with a great cardiovascular system against a smaller Filipino guy. And he was pushing the Filipino guy real hard. But he lost. He got outlanded. And he looked worse at the end of the fight. Now I know you score it round for round. But when. Let's put these equations together. One guy lands more jabs. One guy lands more power punches. One guy is more accurate. The other guy. The, one guy is more. 
effective, right? And the only other thing that Jeff Horn has on the other guy is activity. Everywhere else he's beaten, he even looks worse for wear at the end of the fight. What does that tell you? If it's not past prime Manny Pacquiao, I think you would see this. Those that think Manny Pacquiao lost, let me tell you this. If you didn't know who that guy was, the Jeff Horn, you would think Jeff Horn got away with a bad decision there. I don't care who you are. And Malinaji talking about stats. Teddy Atlas didn't see stats live. I didn't see stats live. Lennox Lewis didn't see stats live. We saw the fight for what it was. And you say, Paulie, it was a close fight. Well, 9-3 to three is not a close fight. What was that judge watching? Right? So even you admit, whether you know it or not, that the judging was out of line there. And it really was. But anything can happen. Manny Pacquiao had more fans in the stadium, yes. But that's fans. Fans don't judge fights. But the Australian Commission, they want a rematch. They want that money coming back. And that's what might happen now. But as I say, Manny should stand his ground and say, hang on a minute. That you know, I've been down this road now. Timothy Bradley. That was a bad one. Jeff Horn, not a great one. Do you think I'm really going to go there and be jobbed again? I can make money fighting other people in the Philippines in a final farewell fight, right? But if doing well and doing better than expected wins you fights, we've got a bad sport on our hands. And I'm afraid these judges, my cat can score fights better than these judges. I'm sorry. And Jeff Horn is a tremendous fighter. He did better than Bradley and Vargas did against Manny Pacquiao recently. But I don't think he's even the man he was from a year ago. But Jeff Horn still was edged out, I think. Judging by the stuff that these two guys produced in the ring on the night. Now Manny is not the fighter he once was, but here's what I worry about now. If Triple G beats Canelo Alvarez by a clear three rounds, can he win the fight? I don't think so. Not in boxing today. There's so much money that judges can be bought. There is controversy in this sport, no doubt about it. And it's even worse now, I think, than it was years ago. Manny Pacquiao was not the fighter he was, but neither, some argue neither is Gennady Golovkin. Some people a few years ago had the perception that Golovkin would annihilate Canelo Alvarez. But because he didn't annihilate Danny Jacobs, say he goes into that ring a shell of his, a shell of his former self, but still, in terms of Queensberry rules, beats Canelo. But Canelo does better than you think he does. That means then the judges are just going to give it Canelo for trying hard. So that mega fight now has real worries surrounding it. Even if Golovkin, say Golovkin lands, which is still substantial, 50 punches more than Canelo Alvarez, but it goes the distance and Golovkin has won it by about two rounds. That's not going to be enough. Because if a guy can't beat Jeff Horn landing 90 shots more, how can Golovkin beat Canelo by landing 50 punches more? So Golovkin has got to outland Canelo 4-1 to one, probably in this fight. And he's got to not give Canelo the chance to be given a decision by the judges. If Canelo genuinely wins... Fair enough. If Canelo knocks Golovkin out, fair enough. I have no problem with that. I have got a problem, right, with people that um, you know, absorbed by perceptions of things and corruption and bad judges and things of that, well, of that nature. So, it's... 
well, the controversy, the controversy. Tony Weeks' performance, V, Kovalev, now this with Manny Pacquiao. Um, I will say this as well. If Conor McGregor, this is the danger now. Conor McGregor will be beat by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah! Right. Just a sec. Sorry, I was busy there. People are calling me. Right, back to my train of thought, because I'm not starting this video again. I'm too, well, flustered. Right, if Conor McGregor can win one round and survive 12, don't be surprised if the judges screw Floyd Mayweather. Right? Because, again, the perception will be, oh, Connor's done great. He must have won. No. No. If Floyd lands the more cleaner shots, I don't care what you think of the fight and how it looks, he hasn't won the contest. Conor McGregor has not won. It's as simple as that. You can't give the fight to Conor McGregor because he does better against Floyd than you expect. That's not how boxing works. But when you get money, when you get this, that, and the other involved in the sport, things like that happen. Right? On to Manny Pacquiao. I think he should retire. What has he got to gain from beating Jeff Horn in a rematch? Jeff Horn is not Manuel Marquez. Good fighter. But Manny Pacquiao is a guy that used to have trilogies with legends. Morales. Marquez. Two fights with Barrera. You know, he was in big occasions with Floyd Mayweather, Ricky Hatton, Miguel Cotto. Jeff Horn. No. I wouldn't even bother. I'd take a... If I was going to fight again, if I'm Manny Pacquiao, I'd fight on my turf, on my terms, in the Philippines, and go out on a win. Right? Because who's going to remember Joe Smith as greater than Bernard Hopkins? I don't think so. But would I advise Bernard Hopkins to come back and fight him again? No, you don't need to. Bernard Hopkins now can go fight a club fighter. But here's the problem. We don't want Manny Pacquiao becoming, and it, it pains me to say this, the new Roy Jones. Because when you used to say the new Roy Jones, you used to be referring to a guy who was supernaturally good. Right? Now you're referring to a guy that doesn't know when to quit and he's past his prime. And soon people will be saying, I hope Errol Spence, you know, in years to come, when, he, when he's getting older, I hope Errol Spence doesn't become the new Manny Pacquiao. And you might look at that person for a second and think, well, I hope he does. He'd be massively. But then they'd say, ah. But didn't Manny fight on too long? Like Muhammad Ali. Like Evander Holyfield. Like Roy Jones Jr. And on and on. Because Jeff Horn really had no business doing that well. Manny Pacquiao should not have let him do that well if he was primed. Right? But he's not anymore. This is the worst for Freddie Roach. Maybe hit on something when he said that's the worst sparring I've seen Manny do in this training camp early. He picked up as the sessions went on, but maybe it was too a little too late in that last month. It's one thing hitting pads and bags and doing well against sparring partners and dropping sparring partners, but they're not Jeff Horn. They're not world-class fighters in the ring with you. They're only sparring. So, you can go old overnight under the lights. And I don't think he's literally gone old under the under the lights on that night. But he has been gradually declining, right? And the biggest thing about Manny Pacquiao when he had a guy hurt years ago, you were finished. He couldn't finish Jeff Horn anymore. That part of Manny is gone, right? Let's just forget the fight for a second. You You tell me right now, the biggest Manny Pacquiao fans out there, this isn't the guy we're used to seeing, is it? Right? And we don't want him to carry on getting hurt. We don't want Mayweather to carry on getting hurt. If Mayweather beats Conor McGregor, I hope he makes his money and then goes out in style. Don't let someone who's not in your league beat you up. 
just for the sake of, I don't know, ego or money. You do what you got to do, Floyd. I'm, you see, I used to be critical about Floyd not fighting out of Vegas. Now I know why he doesn't, right? Now I know why. You do what you've got to do, Floyd, right? On your own terms, and I know you will, right? Credit to Manny for trying to be the hero, but sometimes it goes against you. But I feel Jeff Horn is a real good fighter. I'm not blaming him specifically, but I thought this was iffy at best. And there's a lot that agree with me, but Manny is not the Manny we know, and he won't be again at 38 years of age. I'm sorry to say it, I wish there was a time machine, but there isn't. Father Time is undefeated. There's no question about it. If you go on long enough, someone will beat you. No question about it. I don't care what fighter you are. Sugar Ray Robinson lost. Hamad Ali lost. Floyd Mayweather, if he carried on for too long, even he would lose. As great as he is. Right? Champions of champions, boxing talk. Let's hope that the judges are on the game in Canelo v Golovkin, but don't count on it. I'm out.